Hello everyone and welcome to Two Rivers Assembly. My name is Lisa and I serve on the creative team. We are so glad you're here with us today. If you would like to know how to get involved at TRA, we invite you to join us for Discover Your Place. DYP is an engaging and interactive lunch designed to help you discover your unique God design and how your personality and spiritual gifts can qualify you to serve at TRA. Discover Your Place meets this Sunday at the Shenango Town Hall. Childcare is provided. This is a place for you to take the next step at Two Rivers. So if you are ready to serve on a team at TRA, come eat lunch with us at the Shenango Town Hall today at noon. You have the opportunity to follow the example of Jesus and proclaim to the world that you are a new creation by being water baptized. Take this great next step in your faith and sign up today. Be sure to invite your friends and family to come celebrate with you the last Sunday of this month. To sign up, simply text SPLASH in your name to 607-341-7264 or check Water Baptism on the contact card. A new semester of T-Groups, the T stands for transformation, is just around the corner and we cannot wait to launch our spring T-Group semester on February 8th. As we prepare for T-Groups to begin, we want to encourage you to consider hosting a T-Group this semester. Hosting a group does not have to be complicated. Simply take something that you already love, like running or cooking, and turn that into a group by inviting others to participate in that activity with you. We also have several T-Group curriculums available to those interested in leading a study on a certain book or topic. T-Group leadership training will be available this evening at Starbucks in Target from 6 to 8 p.m. tonight. All T-Group leaders should plan to attend. Join us for training, register your group online, and get ready for an incredible semester of building relationships and drawing one step closer to God. That's it for us. We hope you have a great week. In December of 2004, I was a freshman at Auburn University and got stopped at a crystal right there on the, the main stretch. I was arrested and booked for DUI that night. Of course, I cleaned up for a little bit, but I was hooked. My wife and I were married in 2008, and in, in all honesty, I may not have gone out drinking every night, but it seemed the nights I did go out drinking were usually pretty bad. The self-control just wasn't there. One night, I was uh, supposed to get together for a meeting. It had been a, a rough week at, at work, and so I was eager to turn to the, the one thing I thought was, was comforting me at the time. I think the last I'd contacted my wife was the restaurant's about to close, uh, so I think we're about to wrap up. I honestly don't remember much after that. My father, they had started driving through parking lots and just happened to find me asleep in the driver's seat of my car with the keys thrown in the passenger side and my door unlocked. I look at my phone and there's probably 20 or 30 text messages. I've got 50 missed calls from my wife and three voicemails, most of which are her in tears, just asking where I am and you know that I need to call her back. Had it not turned out the way it did, she's the one that has to tell my daughter. You know, she's the one that has to tell my son. You know, I, I'm I'm sorry, but you know, your your dad made some bad choices, and that's why he's not around. Devin and Brittany McAnally had, had been pushing us for years, really, to to come to Highlands to check it out. Uh, you know, they'd been coming; they really liked it. We get there, you know, everybody's smiling. You know, it was it was, uh, it was at the movie, so you know, we got cokes and popcorn. I was like, well, this is new for church. You know, this is okay. And then Pastor Chris gave a message on The Guardian that night, and it just, it absolutely wrecked me. I mean, it, it touched me exactly where I needed. When I was in that moment, we, we kept on going. We finished out the At The Movie series, completed the growth track. All the while, you know, I was still struggling at home um, with the alcoholism. That whole week leading up to the 21 days starting, I, I got just attacked at night uh, with the alcoholism. And I just remember thinking, God, there's got to be more than this. You know, this, this, I know this isn't what you want for me. This isn't what I want for myself. I was like, I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. So started praying and he spoke to me and, and he said, I'll take this from you, but I, I want you to give me more. Throughout the, the 21 days, uh, I learned it wasn't about 
so much what I was giving up. It was that I was having to depend on Him completely for everything. For, you know, if I felt hungry, I had to depend on Him to, to make it go away. If I felt weak, I, I had to call on Him for strength. He, he met every need and exceeded it abundantly. I just finished my first calendar year without any liquor, um, any tobacco just being able to say no to, to my flesh and, and what it was telling me I wanted. It all started at the, at the 21 days of prayer and fasting in, in 2014. I thank God every day, just the change that He brought about in my life personally, picking me off of the floor, standing me back up and dusting us off and you know, just bringing my family to the place we are now. And you know, the best part is He's not done yet. Let it out